Hi everyone and welcome to episode 8 of my Let's Build a Medieval Village series. This is the second part of the castle build, where we'll be building the castle keep. There's still a couple more parts left until we complete the builds in this area. If you missed the last episode, where we built the castle walls and entrance, you can find the link in the description. I really hope you enjoy the video and like the design that I've come up with for the keep. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to see more content like this, and feel free to leave any feedback or requests in the comments section below. Now, to start, I'm going to bring the land up by one more level within the castle walls. I'm following the shape of the land here, but bringing it in around where the entrance is, and not going all the way over to the other side, as shown. This is just going to give the area a bit more depth, so you step up into the castle buildings to make them appear a bit taller. Here you can see how I've laid this part out. We'll be building the keep on the left. And here you can see this land from the entrance. Now, over on the left hand side, we're going to mark out where the keep will go. So, to do this, we're going to mark out corners that are four stone bricks long on each side with three stone in between, just like this. And here you can see exactly where the keep will be going. To start building, come to the front and place three stone bricks on the left. Leave a block, then place another three, just like this. Then, in the gap, place two stone with a stone brick on top. After that, place a stone brick on either side with a stone brick stair in the middle. Then mark out a one block window space with stone on either side, just like this. And add a spruce fence to the gap. Above this, mark out a two block window space, again with stone on either side. And add two spruce fences to the gap. Then, above this, mark out another one block window space. Finally, add two rows of stone bricks at the top to finish this side off. And it should look like this. Now we're going to repeat this on the right hand side. It's exactly the same as the left, so make sure they line up correctly at the top. If you get stuck, you can look back in the video or copy what you've already built. The two sides together should look like this. Now, on the block that we have left, place three stone bricks on top on each side, like this. On top of these blocks, add a stone brick stair facing to the side. Then add an upside down stair behind them, just like this. Finally, add a slab on top of the upside down stairs with a block in the middle to join the two sides together and create this arch. To fill in the remaining gap in the middle, start by coming inside the outline. The pig really wanted to join in. On the right hand side, place two polished andesite behind the stone brick stair, like this. Then add two stone on top of these, followed by one more polished andesite, two more stone and two more polished andesite. So you have this. Then come over to the left hand side and do the exact same thing again. The two sides together should look like this. Now, in the middle, add one polished andesite behind the block, so we skip the bottom block here. Then, above this, add one stone, followed by a polished andesite, a smooth stone, and another polished andesite, like this. Then, at the top, add one more stone and two more polished andesite. The three sides should all line up. Now, fill in the gaps at the top with polished andesite and come round to the front of the build. We're now going to mark out the window spaces. So, to do this, add a polished andesite stair at the bottom on each side as shown. Then add upside down stairs in the middle and at the top, like this. To fill these window spaces in, we're going to use iron bars to add a bit of variation to the build. Then, for decoration, add a stone button in the middle. Now, one block below the top of this wall section, add an upside down stone brick stair on each side, like this. 
On top of these, add two stone bricks with a stone brick slab in the middle to create an arch shape. Then fill in the final row across the top with stone bricks. For the next part, come over to the left and add a stone brick slab next to the upside down stair from the window, like this. On top of this, add a block of stone with an upside down stone brick stair on either side. Then we're going to mark out a two block window space. So, stone brick on either side with a stone brick stair in the middle. Then place two stone on either side and stone brick across the top with an upside down stair in the middle. Then fill in the gap with spruce fences. For the roof here, add an upside down stair on either side like this. Then add stone on top of these with a stone slab in the middle. And that's this side completed. We're now going to repeat this exact same design on the right hand side. So you can copy what you've already built or look back in the tutorial if you get stuck. To join the two sides together, start by adding a stone slab in line with the bottom half of the stone from the window, like this. Then add alternating blocks and slabs all the way over to the other side. Now beneath the blocks add upside down stone brick stairs. And below the stairs on the left and right replace the stone brick with stone, like this. Now, at the bottom, we're going to add some supports. So, on the left, on either side of the stone in the middle, add three stone bricks with a stair on top. Then, in the middle and in front of these, add one stone brick with a stair on top, just like this. Now, in front of the arch, add a stone brick with a stair on top on either side. Then come over to the right and repeat all of this again. The front of the keep should now look like this. If you want more detail, you can change the materials used in the middle section so it's a different colour. This can be done by using deep slate or wood for example. Now, to add more texture to the build, replace some of the stone bricks at the bottom and stone further up with andesite or stone like this. Do this for the entire wall section. You can also use cracked or mossy stone bricks here too. And that's the first wall completed. Now come round to the side and start work on the next wall, which is very similar. So, just like at the front, we're going to start by adding the three stone bricks on either side with an extra at the top and two stone in the middle. Then we're going to mark out the one block, two block and one block window spaces again and finishing it off with the extra two rows of stone bricks at the top. Then repeat all of this on the other side too. This is exactly the same as at the front, so if you get stuck at any point, you can copy what you've already built. Now, in the middle, create the arch again. So, three stone bricks on either side like this. Then add a stone brick stair that's facing to the side on top of each side with an upside down stair on the back of it. And finally, on top of this, add a slab on either side with a block in the middle. To fill in the gap inside the arch, place four stone on either side, on top of the stone from the outline, like this. Then add another stone at the top and place three stone brick walls in the gap to fill it in. Now it's time to build the middle wall at the top. Again, this is exactly the same as the wall at the front, so feel free to go back in the tutorial if you get stuck or copy what you've already built. To join the two sides together, add the upside down stone brick stair one block below the top on each side again. 
Then add two blocks on either side with a slab in the middle to create the arch shape. And place the row of stone bricks across the top to fill in the gap. Now we're going to add the tower pieces at the top again. So, come over to the side and add the stone brick slab next to the upside down stair from the window. On top of this, add a stone block with upside down stone brick stairs on either side. Then mark out the two block window space. Now, at the top, add upside down stone brick stairs on either side. Then add stone on top with a stone slab in the middle. Now repeat all of this again on the other side. This section should touch the front section along the corner of the block. When that's done, join the two sides together with the alternating stone slabs and blocks again. Then add the upside down stairs below the blocks and replace the stone bricks below the left and right stairs with stone. Now for the supports at the bottom, do the same as we did at the front. So on the left and right we want three stone bricks with a stair on top. Then one stone brick with a stair on top in the middle and in front of these. Where the arch is, add a block with a stair on top in front and to the side on both sides of the arch, like this. Then for the final side, repeat what we did on the left. And once that's done, add texture to this side by replacing some of the blocks with stone or andesite to finish it off. When you've done that, it's time to fill in the corner between the two wall sections. To do this, add two stone bricks at the bottom, like this. Then add a stone brick stair on either side. On top of the blocks, add two stone brick walls, then add andesite walls going up to the top of the two block window space, just like this. Then at the very top, add two stone bricks and finish it off with two stone brick walls below these. And that's the corner completed. Now it's time to do the two remaining walls. These are both the same as the wall that we just did on the left hand side, so you can copy what you've already built or look back in the tutorial if you get stuck at any point. For the corner at the very top, fill this in by adding a stone slab with a stone brick on top of it. Then add upside down stone brick stairs on either side. And finish it off by adding stone slabs on top of these stairs, like this. It should now look like this. Now come over to the other side and do the same again. So a stone slab with a stone brick on top. Upside down stairs on either side and stone slabs on top to finish it off. Now that's done there's just one wall left to do, so head round to the back and finish off the main structure of the build. And that's the main structure of the keep completed. Now head round to the front and come over to the entrance. Between the arch, remove the ground and place three polished andesite there, like this, to mark out the entry. Now head inside and turn to face the entrance. On the left and right add four stone bricks so they join up with the polished andesite above, like this. Then in front of this add three stone bricks on both sides. On top of them add a stone brick stair facing to the side. 
then add an upside down stair behind them. And on top add three stone bricks to join the two sides together. It looks a bit strange at the moment but we'll be adding in a floor to cover this up shortly. Now add a block with a stair on top on each side for a bit of extra support. In the middle, after the polished andesite, remove the ground and place three droppers, just like we did at the main entrance to this area. Then add another three polished andesite after this. Now above the droppers add two rows of spruce fences, like this to look like a gate. To finish off the entrance, replace some of the stone bricks with stone, andesite or cracked stone bricks to add some texture. And that's the entrance finished. Now we can start adding the floors in. So to start, remove all of the ground at the bottom and replace it with spruce planks. After you've done that, at the top of the arch add spruce slabs in line with the top half of the stone bricks that we placed, just like this. Then add some more on the left and right in line with the middle wall section and bring them all the way back to the other side. These slabs should be 5 blocks across and line up with the middle part of the wall, like this. Now do the same going across the other way, again in line with the middle part of the wall. Do this on both sides. To check that the slabs have been placed correctly, try to place a block on top of them. If it sits normally, then you've done it right, but if it's floating, then you'll need to move the slabs. Now, for the next floor, add spruce slabs again, in line with the top half of the smooth stone block, like this. We want this floor to line up with the middle wall sections too, just like the floor below. Make sure to add torches as you go along too. And for the final floor, which is the roof, add stone blocks in line with the stone bricks at the top of the walls, like this. And that's all of the floors completed. Now it's time to add some light in. To do this, start by coming to one of the sides and adding four stone bricks like this. Then do the same on the other side too. To fill in the gap at the top, add a spruce slab with another in front and to the side, just like this. Do this on both sides. Then hang lanterns from the slabs in the middle to light it up. Repeat this for the two remaining wall sections. We can't do this at the entrance, so just leave that as it is. When you've done that, find the middle block on the ceiling and add an extra slab there. Then hang a lantern from it to make sure that the room's well lit. Now for the interior, on the side walls add an upside down polished andesite stair on each side, like this. Then add armour stands on top. Do this for all of the walls. Now, decorate the armour stands with your choice of armour. I've used iron and chainmail, but feel free to use leather, diamond, gold or netherite if you'd prefer. Now we need to add some spiral staircases to connect the floors together. To do this, at the front on the left, start by adding a smooth stone slab in front of the stone brick column like this. Then, start adding more slabs, coming up by half a block each time, going back towards the wall to create steps. When you get to the wall, turn to the side, following the shape of it, and add more steps coming up. Add a couple of lanterns in here too, to make sure it's well lit. Then, in the middle, add a column of stone brick walls, so the stairs wrap around this as they go up. And continue the staircase up to the next floor. There should be three steps on each side. When you reach the first floor, it should look like this. The steps should line up with the floor here. Now continue this up to the next floor. When you reach the next floor, we don't want to go any further. 
so add an extra slab in line with the floor here to finish it off. Then continue the stone brick walls going up to the ceiling and add a chain with a lantern hanging from it to light it up. We're going to repeat this staircase design three more times for the three remaining corners. So go back down to the bottom and do all of this again. Start with the slab in front of the stone brick column. Then add steps coming up going back towards the wall. Then start to turn the staircase following the shape of the walls. Add a couple of lanterns and the stone brick walls in the middle. Then carry on the staircase all the way up to the top floor, just like we did on the other side. And once you're done, repeat two more times for the two remaining corners. When all of the staircases are in place, it's time to add the interior. So, starting on the first floor, add an extra spruce slab at the top on each side of the wall section and hang a lantern from them. Do this on all sides. When you've done that, add a spruce fence on each side of the staircase to stop you from falling down by accident. Do this for all of the staircases. Now on the side walls, add a bed on each side with a chest in the middle. Do this three times. On the front wall where the stone bricks are, add some stacked barrels and furnaces like this. Then in the centre of the room, add some red carpets for a bit of extra colour. Now head up the stairs to the next floor. At the top of the wall add a block of stone or andesite on each side, like this. And next to these add upside down stone or andesite stairs. Leave the middle block empty for now. In the middle below this add a polished andesite slab on each side with an upside down stair in the middle. Then add armour stands and fill in the missing stair at the top. After that, hang lanterns from the blocks and add the spruce fences at the top of the stairs again. Then repeat this on the wall opposite, it's exactly the same. Now for the two remaining walls, start by adding the blocks on either side with stairs in the middle at the top again and hang the lanterns. Then fill in the space in the middle with some barrels and chests and add a couple of item frames too by crouching before you place them. So you should have something that looks like this. Now repeat this on the wall opposite. Try to make the placement of the barrels and chests slightly different so it isn't an exact copy. When you've done that, decorate the armour stands with any armour you'd like. Again, I'm using iron and chainmail here. Then add some weapons in the item frames. Now to connect to the roof, remove the middle block from the ceiling like this. Then remove one block on each side of it to create a cross shape. After that, add a polished andesite in the middle of the room and build up from this until you're one block above the stone from the roof like this. Jump back down and add ladders on all sides of the blocks, leading up to the roof. After that, remove the corner blocks from the cross shape and replace them with stone slabs. Then, remove the blocks in front of the ladders and replace them with upside down stone stairs, like this. This just adds a bit more shape to the ceiling instead of leaving it completely flat. Now head up to the roof and we can finish off the keep. To add some lighting, add a stone brick wall on top of the andesite and place a lantern on top. Then add some spruce trap doors to cover up the ladders. Once you've done that, come over to where we built the tower sections. 
Next to the stone slab, add three stone bricks on each side with a one block gap in the middle. Then add an upside down stair at the top to create a doorway. Now come round to the left and do the exact same thing again. So you should have this so far. Now on the top stone bricks add an upside down stair. Then add stone on top with a stone slab in the middle, just like we did on the other sides. Repeat this for the final side too. Then fill in the corners. So a stone slab with a stone brick on top. Then add upside down stairs on either side of this with stone slabs on top. Do this for all of the remaining corners. Now, to add some texture, replace some of the blocks with stone or andesite. I've used more stone bricks for these doorways so it doesn't blend in with the stone from the roof. When you've added some texture, come inside and add a couple of spruce doors in the doorways. Then, add a roof using stone slabs placed on the top half of the block. Finally, come back inside, add an extra slab and hang up a lantern. Then add some ladders leading up to the top and cover them up with a spruce trap door. And that's the tower design completed. We're now going to repeat this three more times to finish off the keep. So, head over to the next side and do the same again. Feel free to look back in the video if you get stuck at any point. And that's the Medieval Castle Keep completed. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed the video and liked the design that I came up with for this build. If you did enjoy the video then please leave a like and if you're new here consider subscribing to see more content like this.